Hey everybody, yeah it's about 12.58, almost 1 o'clock in the afternoon on this TGIF, Friday, November 8th, 2013. And I want to apologize to anybody that listened to my video from last night. Um, this is basically a bit of a more clearer, more updated version of it. Uh, but first of all, let me explain why it was so quiet and all that. Uh, one, I was a little bit tired. It was late at night. And also, my mom had gone into the shower. And usually, usually I take advantage of those opportunities to do videos or do audio clips. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I was saying, uh, I, take advantage, I take advantage of that sometimes to do videos or do audio clips or audio recordings um, when she's in the shower or something like that or in a deep sleep so that she will not interrupt or she won't hear. Because you see, basically there are times that I might try to do that and she might just be getting up or just walking around or something like that and she might hear it and she'll go like, oh, what are you doing? What are you talking about? What are you doing? Trying to be funny or trying to be honorary about it or whatever. Just, I don't know, just trying to be a te trying to tease a little bit about it. Out of fun, that is. Joke around, out of fun, uh, out of fun and all that. But, to me, you know, this is, this is something I like to do on occasions. You know, this is something I like to do a lot. So I like to try to do it without any interruptions. And when I do have any, and, and when I do have interruptions, I either have to redo the video or I leave as, or in the case like this, I either have to stop the audio recording and resume um, after a while. Now, getting on to the topic though at hand, basically the question was, Oh, basically, the title of the topic was last night, if I can find it. Uh, basically, the title of the topic uh, last night that I talked about, because I, I read this on several forums. People have been talking about this at on occasions uh, at several forums. Uh, if it'll pop up here. But I've been talking about this uh, several occasions on several forms. And um, there you go. Well, like I said, I've been talking about this on occasions that on several. I've been hearing people talking about this. I've been hearing people, that's what I'm trying to say, hearing people talking about this. Uh, on several forms. And basically it's about why Mobius, why, m why basically Mobius years later and other Ken Pender characters and stories will, won't be used uh, for a while basically why why they won't be used for quite some time and you know what I was trying to talk about last night was I look at Archie comics whether you like them or not I look at Archie comics and I look at Ian Flynn as being kind of stuck in the middle it's like they want it's like they know they have to please Sega and kind of and, and kind of and, and basically basically I should say overall get Sega's approval on a lot of things. You know, Archie's got to get to approval of, uh, approval of saying, okay, we approved this for the story, what about you? You know, they, they, they need to get the final stamp of approval from Sega, which Sega obviously just is like, okay, go ahead at times, except for a few occasions, as we have noticed over the past few years. But, the thing is, they're basically stuck in the middle because then on the other hand, because not on the other hand, but on the other side of things, you have Ken Penders. Now, Ken Penders basically has come out and said, yeah, you could still use the characters, but, but I have a little stipulation. The stipulation is you can use the characters, but you got to pay me royalties for it or fees for it, to a fee to license them, basically, and two, 
I have to have a two, I have to be allowed to look over the material uh, the material that you're going to use them in. And three, just like Sega and the higher ups at Archie, I too have to have a say in, appro in a say in approving that story before it gets published. So basically you have him on this side saying, hey, you could do it, but I want to have that's the same equal opportunity that Sega and the higher ups at Archie have have and everything. And when you do stories, when you do the stories as well, especially featuring my characters. And again, you have people like Ian Flynn and I had to spit up some mucus there. But again, you have, in the middle, you have people like Ian Flynn and those that work on the Archie, on the Sonic comic by Archie Comics, those within Archie, not the higher ups, but those within, that are stuck in the middle, that are like, they will tell the, the higher ups at Archie, look, these people want these characters back. We want them back, but what do we do? You know? Which is basically the the result of what we have now, you know, the redesign of the the Saturday morning characters, the Saturday AM characters, just to keep them in the comic. From what Ian Flynn said, but but here's the deal, though. Here's the deal, though. Um, basically. As much as Ian Flynn and the rest of the staff on the Archie Sonic comic books want to use n Julie Sue again, they want to use Linda again, uh, Lala Sue, uh, as much as they want to use Lala Lee, Remington, you know, as much as they want to probably at times use the Dark Legion, <coughs> as much as they want to use Robbo the Hedgehog, Robbo the Hedgehog, the Robin Hood Hedgehog. As much as they want to use them, you know, as much as they want to use Hershey, the cat, or Hershey St. John, and even Jeffrey St. John, if you will. As much as they want to use those characters once again, because what has happened, and because they don't want to lose the license to the comic or lose, as Ian Flynn has pointed out, the very essence, the very heart of the comic, which was. Sonic and the Not Whole Freedom Fighters, they had no choice but to do what they did. And we pretty much all know that, right? But another reason why Sega and the higher ups at Archie don't want any connection with Ken Penders for the time being, for the time being, not saying that won't change, not th saying things won't change because things change throughout time. Things do change. And I believe sooner or later we will see these characters again. But like I'm saying, for the time being, Sega and Archie want nothing to do with Ken Penders because of some uh, not uh, because it's not because it's not just because of his characters. They have no problems with his characters. It's more along the lines of one a few things. One, like some of us have seen, he pretty much wants to use the art. In, in their eyes, in the eyes of Sega, in the eyes of Archie Comics, in the eyes of several fans, Ken Penders pretty much wants to use the Archie Sonic comic book series, the Archie Sonic comic book series, as a springboard for his Lala Sue Chronicles. That's what he wants to do. He wants to use it as a springboard to the Lala Sue Chronicles. Now, to me, the best way for that to happen is a, is a better compromise than what's being held in secret. A better settlement than what's being held in secret. Because if he says, hey, look, you can use the characters, but you need to pay me this. You know, there is a division within Archie Comics that they could put the Lala Sue Chronicles in. And say, hey, you want an official publisher? We'll give you this. You want an official publisher? We'll give you that. But the thing is, there is a division, and it's called Red Circle Comics. They use Red Circle Comics 
for the Lawless Sioux Chronicles or whatever Ken Penders wants to do with the Echidna characters of his, then there you go. There you go. Compromise solved. Settlement solved. Characters can still be used, but they'll be the Law of Sioux Chronicles will be in Red Circle and not in Archie because it's supposed to be darker and a little bit more violent. Well, there you go. There you go. But the fact of the matter is it isn't just that. But the truth of the matter is, it isn't just that in the eyes of some of the people, uh, the higher ups at Archie and some of the writing staff at Archie, and not just in the eyes of those at Sega, in the eye as well as in the eyes of some of the fans. It's not just that he wants to use the Archie Sonic comic book series as a springboard for the Lawless Sioux Chronicles. No, it's not that. It's also the fact that his stories um, are a bit of a problem. You see, like I said, they have no problem with characters like Julie Sue. They have no characters like, n they have no problem with characters like Remington, or Jeffrey St. John, or Hershey the Cat, or Lala Sue, or Lala Lee, or whatever. They have no problem with these characters. They really don't. What they have a problem with, again, is the fact that he wants to use the comic as a springboard, the comic's continuity, main continuity, as a springboard for the Lala Sioux Chronicles. But more so than that, he wants to use what he originally created and ironically was continued on by Ian Flynn, but what he originally created aided in Mobius years later, or Mobius 25 years later or 30 years later, whatever you want to call it, basically the Mobius years later arc, he wants to use that as to as not just the main springboard to the Lawless Sioux Chronicles, <coughs> if you will, or at least something like that. Would again, like I said, it's a, like a main springboard. But he also also basically and this is why we may not see them, might not see the stories, his stories referenced for quite some time, ever quite some time. This is why we may never see these stories referenced for quite some time, or we may not see the characters for quite some time. It's the fact that he's saying, hey, you c it's okay for you to use my characters as long as you let me kind of, <coughs> as long as you pay me this fee, you let me, you know, kind of have a say in what goes on, and then have, and then like Sega and Archie, let me kind of approve it before you publish it. You know, it's not just, it's not just all that. It's also the fact that he wants his stories to continue to be a true part, a true, a true part of the main comics continuity. In other words, like I mentioned before in several videos when I talked about this, he wants, and I had a feeling this was one of the main reasons, he wants Mobius years later to be the true, a true part of the main continuity. In other words, he wants it to be referenced as the real future. <coughs> he wants it to be referenced as the real future, as what will happen. But here is the problem that lies within. This is why we may not see this story ever referenced again or gone back to ever again. This is why we may never see other stories referenced again. This is why we may never see certain characters ever again. Well, not ever again. We, never, we can't ever say never. I should say, for the time being, we may never see these characters again. We may never ha hear or hear about these stories being referenced again for the time being. Because for the time being, because of something like that, these are going to be put on the shelf indefinitely for the time being. In other words, until things are settled in a situation to where it's like, to where Ken Penders is like, okay, I agree with you guys. We'll make, uh, we'll make Moby issues later in an alternate zone. We'll make it an alt a what if universe, blah, blah, blah. Basically, that's what 
those at Archie, those at Sega want to hear. That's the only way, even if it's just Mobius years later, that's the only way it's ever going to get referenced ever again. That's the only way it's going to get referenced is if Ken Penders agrees to allow it to be an alternate zone, an alternate universe. But no. You see, the reason we will not see these characters for some time and the reason we won't hear about a hear about or have hear about these stories being referenced ever again for some time I should say is due to the fact that he wants every single story story every single story he's done as a true part of the continuity that's what he wants he wants them as a true part of the continuity now there are some stories that will remain that he's done let's not let's not kid ourselves there are some stories and Archie is not, and Archie is, and Archie, whether you like him or not, is not stupid about this. They know that there are some stories Ken Penders did that longtime fans are going to look at as a true part of the continuity. No matter whether you give us Countdown to Chaos or not, as a soft retcon, they know there are certain stories that are still part of the continuity in some way, even if you give us a soft retcon or not. But the fact of the matter is, folks, the fact of the matter is this. Soft retcon or no soft retcon, there are stories that they know they cannot avoid. They cannot be rid of until the time is right. They can't be rid of them. They can't. Endgame, you can't get rid of that. Triple threat, you can't get rid of that. Darkest Storm, you can't get rid of that. 175 to 177, you can't get rid of that. It's, it's always going to be in people's minds, in the fans' minds. And Archie, and Archie knows that's a fact. Sega knows that's a fact. So despite what they do with Countdown to Chaos, they know that even with these little flashbacks, they give the characters every time the memories are restored or if you every time the memories are restored it's the fact that no matter how you look at it no matter how it's done these characters are always these stories that Ken Penders did some of these main classics let's not let's not kid ourselves classics if you will are what sell the now, I know you're thinking, well, Darkest Storm wasn't done by him, Brian, and neither was 175 to 177. They were done by Ian Flynn. Yeah, I understand that, but I'm using them as examples, as stories that, a as arcs, if you will, that no matter what you do, you cannot get rid of. You cannot be rid of these arcs. I mean, what about the whole, um, let's take a look at it like this. What about the whole 124 to 125, Sonic Adventure, 2.5 arc. You can't get rid of that. You can't get rid of the ad ad adaption they did from 79 to about 85 or 86 on Sonic Adventure. You can't get rid of that. See, they know these are stories out there they can't really get rid of because they're, the they're still fresh in some ways in the minds of a lot of the fans, new and old. So Archie's not Archie and Sega, whether you like them or not, are not that dumb. They're not. The only thing, the only stories they don't want to really reference if they don't have to is the Mobius Years Later deal. They'd rather treat Mobius Years Later as an alternate zone universe or a what if a future, a what if scenario. Kind of like in the old Marvel comics. When Marvel Comics wanted to, they would take one of their premier titles, whether it was X-Men, whether it was Spider-Man, whether it was the Avengers, Iron Man, doesn't matter. They would take one of their premier titles, and on occasions, they would do an annual of that title, and they would call it What If. They would. They would call it What If. 
one that I remember mostly was one, an X-Men, was a What If X-Men comic I, comic I used to have. And basically, you finally have a scenario where you have a what if if what if Jean, Jean Grey, fell in love with Wolverine. And then there's a comic I have in my Spider-Man collection that says what if, and this is what if Spider-Man married Black Cat. See, that's basically how Archie and the higher-ups at Archie and Sega and some of the writing staff at Archie want and some of the fans want to treat Mobius years later. They want to treat it as an alternate universe, as an alternate zone, and basically a what-if scenario. I mean, if they wanted to, they could easily say, hey, look, Ken, we want, we're going to use Mobius years later, but we're going to do this. We're going to say, what if, for the title. We're going to say, Sonic the Hitchhog special, super special, what if? That, that's basically what it is. And it's basically what it is, folks. And that is why, that is why, ladies and gentlemen, right, for right now, you are not going, for the time being, for the time being, you are not going to see these characters again. This is why, for the time being, you're not going to see a lot of the stories referenced again, even though, some of them will be because Archie and Sega would have to be stupid not to reference some of the classics like Endgame and the Sonic Adventure adaption and Sonic Adventure 2.5. But the thing, or the triple threat deal, but the point is, but the point is, folks, you know, there's going to be certain other things, other stories and characters that, and backstories and backgrounds that Ken Penders created during his run with the comic that they're not going to really reference that much, if at all, for the time being, because of what's going on, because of what he wants. But you see, again, that's why Archie's kind of stuck in the middle. It's like they know they they know there's gonna be fans that are gonna be bitching, excuse my language, we're gonna be excuse my lang language and forgive me Lord for saying that. Forgive me Lord for saying that, but there's gonna be a lot of fans complaining Excuse, forgive me, Lord, for saying this, bitching and whatever over the fact that these characters and these stories are gone for the time being, are not going to be referenced or seen again. They know that, and they want to give the fans that. They want to give the fans these characters again. They want to reference these stories for the fans again, but they also know that as much as they would probably like to probably agree to some kind of compromise with Ken that would allow that to happen, they know, on the other hand, that Sega and some of the higher ups at Archie, I mean, and some of the higher ups that were well, working at Archie Comics, are pulling them in one direction more so than Ken is trying to pull them here. See, they want to do a compromise in some ways, whether they like Ken Penders or not, but they're also being pulled more, pulled more so in a direction in the direction Sega wants them to go, because if they don't go in Sega's direction. Because right now they're in a situation that if they don't go in Sega's direction, they'll lose everything. You know, they'll lose everything. The only th way this is going to work out, the only way this is going to work out is if Sega wins their lawsuit with K against, if Sega, EA, and BioWare, if Sega, EA, and BioWare win their lawsuit against Ken Penders. If they win the lawsuit that Ken Penders has issued against them, only then would you probably see characters like Julie Sue, characters like Shade, characters like Lala Lee, Lala Sue, stories like Mobius Years Later, characters like Jeffrey St. John, Hershey, and all of them. Only then would you probably see all of that return to the comic. But until that lawsuit is settled, we're not going to see them for quite some time. And again, like I mentioned at the beginning, you can never say never in the media business. And the fact is, I believe, as a fan, we're going to see these characters again, but for right now, they're on the shelves. But here's the thing. That doesn't stop fans from saying, hey, look, just because you got rid of them doesn't mean we will. We'll write our own continuations of what's going on. And believe me, they have. Take a look at Mixed Fan 86. 43, I believe, at DeviantArt. He's done just that. Well, along with a friend. Along with a friend, he's done just that. 
So again, again, the fact of the matter is this, folks. For the time being, we're not going to see characters like Julie Sue, Lala Lee, Lala Sue, Remington, Jeffrey, Hershey, and all of them because of what's going on currently with Ken Pender's lawsuit. Not just the lawsuit that was settled finally, secretly, between Archie and Ken because a ar judge basically said, let's settle this once and for all, but mainly because of the lawsuit going on right now with BioWare, EA, Sega, and Art and uh, Kent Penders. That's what's going on there. So until that's settled, we may or may not know when or if we'll ever see the characters again, or when or if we'll ever hear about or see references of classic stories that Ken had done when he was on the run, on during his run on the comic. But again, one of the reasons, though, like I said, Mobius years later. Um, one of the reasons it's not going to be referenced anymore is because basically, as much as I know Ian Flynn would like to reference it again, and I know some of the people at Archie would, the higher ups at Archie and several of the writers a little above Ian and all that, and, and Sega, they don't want it referenced. They don't want to see it ever again unless it's presented as a what if scenario or an alternate zone scenario or basically another time, another place scenario. They don't want to see it as being the true future. And that's basically what Ken Penders wants. I'm sure if he changes his mind about that, that might help things out. But again, this is why you're not going to see it anymore because of these situations. So anyway, I thought I'd just kind of update you guys on what I said last night in a more clearer, more louder voice, seeing as though my mom's at work right now. And I got a little bit more freedom to do so. Um, so anyway, that's all I'm going to say on it. Let me know what you guys think down below, and I will talk to you all later. Comments are welcome if you, can, if you know how to work the new comment system on YouTube. So um, comments are welcome. Video responses are welcome through the PMs. Comments are welcome through the Google Plus if you got that, and Facebook, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll talk to you all later. So till then, God bless and take care.